Another way to style a tkinter app is to use themes. Basically what that means is tkinter has lots of external themes that you can import and those themes are going to style every single element of your app. It sounds very simple and these themes are generally fairly easy to use. However, you might remember a couple of videos ago I talked about that external themes just aren't very good. To illustrate why, let me show you a list of all the available tkinter themes. Here is a list of all the tkinter themes. If you scroll down, you can see preview colors. And while some look okay, I guess this one here looks fine. There are some more, I guess this one is passable, but most of these themes look really old and outdated. For example, using this one here would just seem like you're making a Windows 98 app. Same for this one, same for these down there. Most of these themes just don't look good at all. On top of that, the styling here is very limited. For example, if you wanted to change any of these options here for this theme, you could maybe change some minor things, but most of these are hard set. So you're kind of stuck with whatever you download, which somewhat defeats the point of styling because you want to have your own app. I wouldn't recommend any of these, but I do want to cover if you see it in some other people's code. What is broadly considered the best looking theme, if I go all the way down, is called Azure. If I search for it, we have Azure and we have Azure Dark. This we can get from GitHub. Let me open it really quick. In here, you can see we have a fairly good looking theme. It also tells you how to use it. And this is quite a nice theme to work with. To use it, you first of all have to download it, which you can do up here. You have to click on code and then download zip. This is going to download the entire thing and this theme you have to unpack. If I open my download folder, here we have Azure TTK theme main. This I want to extract all to the current folder. And then we get this folder here, Azure TTK main theme. And in there we have a couple of things. Although the only thing that we really care about is this theme folder here, because in there we have a dark, a light theme, and then some extra information. Inside of, for example, light, what we really have in here are a bunch of images. For example, here we have the radio accent, which is a blue dot. Same with for the on accent. This is just a button, which is also telling you why this is quite limited in terms of customization. But at the very least, we have a good looking theme. In my case, what I have done, I went to the main folder and copied the entire thing. After that, I have another folder. This one has an app. I'm going to open this in a second, but I want to paste all of this in here. This is going to take a second. There we go and rename it to, let me just call it Azure. Inside of this Azure, we now have the theme. Inside of the theme, we have dark and light. What I should have mentioned, this Azure TCL is really important. Also, if you're using this for your own app, you have to include a license. I That's just good practice. Let's open the app and let's implement all of this. The app I have just opened is what we created earlier this slightly more complex layout. Although I do want to change the name, this shouldn't be class-based app anymore. Let's call it theme-based app. Using the theme is actually incredibly simple. All we have to do inside of the init method of the main window. So wherever you create tk.tk, you want to do two more things. Before you create any kind of widget, you want to use the theme. For that, you want to use self or whatever your main window is, then TK and then call. Inside of this, you need two arguments. The first one is called source. This tells the Kinter to import something. The next argument now is going to need a path. The path that we want is inside of Azure and azure.tcl. This is the file we want to import which means the folder I want to go for is called Azure. In there, I want to have azure.tcl. If I run this now, 
We can't see anything, but we are not getting an error message. That's what I was looking for. To actually use this theme, we have to use self again, then .tk, and then call. Now we need two arguments again. The first one is called set theme. After that, we have to decide between a light theme and a dark theme. If I use the dark theme, now we can see some major improvement, although it's not perfect yet. Let me expand it a tiny bit. You can see most things work okay, but we have to change a few things. The sliders are the worst part right now, but things are definitely getting better. The main issue we have right now is inside of, I think all of this happened inside of menu. Inside of there, we have create widgets and further down there, we have the menu slider one and menu slider two. Both of those are TTK scales. The problem we have with this theme right now is that we are sticking them to all four sides. This is causing a problem. The theme only really works if you stick the slider either on the horizontal or on the vertical axis, but not both. Now if I run this, this fixes the slider and that's looking much better. Sometimes when using external themes, you have to be a tiny bit careful. Although besides that, inside of the dark theme, you could also use a light theme. And there we go. We have a different kind of theme that probably looks a little bit better. I know, it's quite subjective. I guess one more thing that we can do is all of the buttons look quite close together. They should have a tiny bit of padding. That is very easily done. Inside of create widgets, we are placing all of the buttons here. All we have to do is give them a tiny bit of pad X. Let's go with four and pad Y should also be four. Now if I run this again, now we have a tiny bit of padding between the buttons. And if I increase the size of this window, here we go. This is looking much better. And that's kind of it for themes. All of the themes work either in this way or in a very similar way. And while this can give you some decent results, I really wouldn't recommend using it. Number one, for this theme, you either have a light color or a dark color, and that's all you can really do for customization. On top of that, since all of these elements are simply images, this also slows down performance. You notice this in particular when you try to resize the app. Let me show my mouse actually, and let me try to resize the app really fast. You can see the thing really struggles and cannot keep up at all. And I think that's really bad user experience. As a consequence, while themes can be a good way to get started, I just wouldn't recommend using them at all. There are much better ways to style your app.